Hey guys, so I wanna give you an update on the Atlavox Beacon pre-orders. Um, I've been incredibly busy trying to get everything fulfilled um, that have been ordered, you know, December, January. I'm trying to do like a ship 10 per day. That's my goal. Right now I've been falling a little short of that. Um, I've got about 100 left pre-orders. Um, so I'm, I'm really trying to get those out the door within uh, the next two weeks. So I've got a bunch in various stages of assembly. These are pretty much ready to go. So this is one that's like pretty much as, as assembled as I can get it. One of the challenges that I've had is I can't really um, assemble all of these 100% because every order uh, is essentially custom. So if you have an internal Bluetooth antenna or an external Bluetooth antenna, will um, determine whether or not this SMA cable gets connected to the whiz block. If you get an internal Bluetooth antenna, I need to install this one. Um, so basically every single order, I have to do one at a time to kind of do like that final step of assembly. So here are a bunch of empty enclosures. I've actually hired some help to help me get through um, some of the kind of easy assembly tasks, but I'm still not comfortable letting them kind of do the entire assembly, uh, especially with the critical waterproof um, steps. So there's several penetrations in the enclosure that I just uh, wanna make sure I'm personally uh, tightening down and making sure those are waterproof. And here's the first batch of frames that I got. So I have to assemble all of these, you know, it's three different pieces that get assembled to make a frame. So we're almost halfway through this uh, first batch. So there's been some compromises um, with this process because like I, my number one goal right now is to get these out the door. So like I haven't been posting any YouTube videos. I've got a ton of videos that I wanna do. I'm actually an authorized distributor of the T1000E. I've been planning on doing a bunch of videos on those. I've got alpha uh, antennas in stock now and I haven't even like done any videos on this stuff. And there's one thing in particular that has been such a big challenge for me that I was wasn't expecting. So this right here is a 32 inch um, 5.8 decibel antenna. I decided to source these and include these as an option because I just, I wanted to have something that was a little bit of a higher decibel antenna for people, you know, setting these up in kind of flat terrain environments. But here's where it's made things really difficult for me. So uh, if you get just the 12 inch antenna, so this one right here, it's a 12 inch three decibel antenna. If you get this one, I can fit it right in this box with the beacon. So I've got a beacon in here. Um, this box also works out great. If you get the alpha antenna, which is a five decibel um, antenna, it would, it would just, people love this antenna. That's why I wanted to um, get a bunch in stock. So if you get the 12 inch or the seven inch alpha, I can fit everything right in this box. It's nice and small, it's easy to handle, and um, the shipping is reasonable. I can ship this for 15, sometimes $20, and that's kind of what I was expecting. You know, I have shipping included when you buy a beacon, so I have to factor that cost in um, to my margins and everything. But if you get a 32 inch antenna, that's not gonna fit in this box. So I have to go with a much bigger box. So I still have to use this box in order to protect the beacon. This goes in here and it's so much more complicated to pack this in a way that the antenna is protected. I, I tape um, some foam, so I have some some of this foam here, I'll cut this out and wrap both ends of the antenna. I use paper padding to make sure that the box of the beacon doesn't crush it. I even tape the beacon box down to this box so it's it's just not moving around. And then I fill uh, this area with, uh, with paper to, to just really secure it. So not only does it take a lot longer to pack these, but it's so expensive to ship. So I've paid up to $35 in postage alone to ship these, um, these orders that have the long antennas. So uh, that has been a big challenge. It just takes a lot longer to pack and ship these and it's a lot more expensive. So I am gonna not offer that antenna anymore. I'm just gonna offer the seven inch alpha and the 12 inch um, 
you know, three decibel antenna because I need to look for ways to simplify things for me. You know, I just, it's just me here. I did hire a, a part-time employee. She's my aunt. Um, so she was super excited about coming and helping me out. Um, but I'm like, I don't know how fast I want to scale this business. I'd really like to, um, keep it small as far as employees and stuff. And I want to keep my hands on it, you know, like I'm the one doing, so like my aunt doesn't do all, like I said, I do the, the, fi the final waterproofing. I'm the one who programs the whiz block. I've got some custom software that I use to, uh, to kind of uh, flash the firmware and configure things and set up your private channel. So I think by eliminating that complicated antenna, um, that will kind of help me free up some time to focus on um, other things. And so another area that I've had to compromise on is, um, you know, if you buy an M1, I have some really nice branding that I do on the box. And I've got these little got, you know, a mesh tastic uh, getting started guide for the M1 where, you know, I've got a website, a web page set up on the website to kind of show you how to get started. I have not had time to get any of that set up for the beacon. So I have to apologize if you're a pre-order um, customer, you're gonna, get, you're gonna get the product and there aren't gonna be any instructions. So uh, I hope that's okay. I kind of feel like most of the people who have pre-ordered this product so far are people who already know what Meshtastic is, may have uh, played around with WizBlocks in the past. It's something I'm definitely going, I have it on my list, I'm definitely gonna do it. I just, uh, I feel like people would more appreciate that I focus on fulfillment rather than uh, stuff like that. And again, I am, I'm gonna say like probably within the next two to three weeks, I should be all caught up on the pre-orders and um, should have a pretty good handle on uh, how, you know, how things are gonna move forward. Oh, the other thing, one more thing. So one of the things that I really wanted to do was have, um, you know, that custom product packaging uh, just to fit everything in the box. So this is a prototype right here from a local uh, foam company. They just kind of cut this by hand, but just to give you an idea, uh, I have a custom die and you know, foam company that is manufacturing a foam insert for this box. That way everything will be kind of uh, packaged a little bit nicer, but I don't have them yet. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just using bubble wrap for now. Um, it actually, it works, it works really well. It just, it takes a little bit more time and obviously it doesn't look that great. It's, it's bubble wrap. So I'm really excited uh, to get this. I should be getting my first order of these next week, but even that is, it's great. I, I kind of, I don't even want to tell you, it's like $5 per thing, like per foam insert, which is kind of crazy. Um, and I know a lot of people are kind of price sensitive to the beacon and uh, don't worry, I've got some ideas. Um, I've always intended on trying to offer a different version of the beacon that's more affordable. And I've got a couple ideas to tackle that. But again, I don't wanna get over my head and all of a sudden have to like hire a bunch of people. You know, I wanna kind of keep it a small business. And um, yeah, I mean, for the people who have ordered this already, like I don't do any advertising. It's kind of like, if you found my website or my channel, I, I hope that maybe you have a little bit of uh, familiarity with Meshtastic um, to, to get started with, but once I get caught up with all these pre-orders, I'll definitely be creating more content, creating more <laughs> instructions on this thing. You know, one thing a lot of people don't get is there's so much flexibility with how you can install this thing and set it up. So um, lots more to come. Just wanted to do this quick update video for you. And I gotta get going to, <laughs> I got 10, orders. I got to get out the door today in order to stay on track. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.